Can you really die of a broken heart? Turns out the answer is yes. I'm James Papadopoulos and I'll break it down. This is TextBank. So breaking up with someone or getting broken up with may bum you out. And there really is a medical condition called broken heart syndrome or stress-induced cardiomyopathy. It can be brought on by something really bad like a death, breakup, rejection, or even something good like winning the lottery or finding a long lost relative. People suffering from broken heart syndrome have a part of their heart that temporarily enlarges, which causes it not to pump blood as effectively, while the rest of the heart behaves normally. Left untreated, this could lead to severe and potentially life-threatening heart muscle failure. People who experience it will recover within a few weeks usually, but you should still be careful and look for the symptoms, chest pain and shortness of breath being the most common. I really shouldn't have to say this, but if you feel like something's wrong with your heart, go get it checked. Like now, don't mess around with this stuff. I recently felt something weird going on with my chest and that's what I did. There's my heart right there in an echocardiogram. It turns out things were fine, but still. How crazy is that? That's my heart. I told you I wasn't heartless. I'm just an ass. So there. Well, anyway, that's all for this episode. Don't want to miss anything? Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications on YouTube. And if there's something that you'd like to see, let me know, either in the comments or at mail at textbank.com. I'm James Papadopoulos and I'll see you next time. People suffering from broken heart syndrome have a part of their heart that temporarily, temporarily enlarged. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I think we got it.